Hey friends, I just had to stop in and I'm going to do a review of after for you right now because it was a snow day today, decided to go to the film. It was a pretty full showing because I mean, it only came out last night and you know, I really like those books. I'll link my video. I actually did an in defense of after video where I drank some wine and talked about why I think after actually isn't that bad. Why I think that <laughs> if you are a young adult or an adult and you're looking for, you know, a little bit of like smutty, love to hate, dysfunctional relationship, I get it. I don't judge you. We've all been there. I am a hot mess. Sorry. I was pulling my hair out. So that being said, first I'll give you <laughs> like my thing about it as a film and then I'll rant a little bit because who have some things to say and it's not going to be what you expect or maybe it will be if you've watched some other reviews already like my channel's really small so you finding me is probably like an accident after you've watched three other people's videos or whatever first off just as a film it was a very Disney channel like I don't know another way to describe that just like the setup of everything, the parental relationship, the high school boyfriend, the meet cute with Harden the first time. They're like, just all of their interactions are so Disney Channel. Like, oh, oh my word. Number two, the amount of slow-mo and montages in this film. And guess what? Time isn't even passing when they do these montages. Like, there is a specific thing where, like, one of the characters has a wound on their lip. And then there's, like, this montage where the characters are apart from each other. And they come back, and the next time they're together, the wound is still fresh on his mouth. Sorry, I just gave it away who it was, but I don't care. <laughs> and I'm like... It's supposed to have been like a week or weeks since they've seen each other and his wound is still fresh. So either like she montaged for a day, excuse me, the anger brings out my yawns or like what's the deal? There was a montage every five minutes. Like I looked at my phone guys. I looked at my phone. Oh my word. So Here's the thing. I'm shouting. I'm sorry. I am like fired up because I was excited for this in the way that I wasn't excited for Fifty Shades of Grey because here's the thing. I hated the Fifty Shades of Grey books, but I was like, ooh, some steamy fun. Let's go see it. And my friends and I would go and we would laugh at the whole thing. So at least even though you couldn't take it seriously, you can laugh at it. Well, here's the problem with this movie. It's in general, like kind of a cute meat, like it's okay. But what you're left with after you strip, because they made this a PG-13 movie, which I understand. Like, I get it. Tweens and, like, young adults, not young adults, like, teenagers, they're going to be your main audience. So you don't want to make this, like, impossible for them to see. Okay. Well, what you're left with after you take out all of the sexy stuff, because I'm telling you, there was, okay, I'll just be honest. There was one sex scene and like three almost sex scenes, only seeing like stomach and whatever and whatever. I'm not being like, oh, I need that. But the thing is, the trailer for this film was sexier than the movie. Like even the sex scene when they have it, like that's supposed to be the thing between these two is they, they hate each other, but when they're near each other, they're like, can't keep their hands off each other. Like that's why they like work and it's dysfunctional. It's supposed to be. So whenever they're fighting, they're having issues. They like, they jump on each other and then they're like, okay, we need to work this out. And like, Hey, I know other really great relationships where that happens too. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a physical like reset and you need to be like, Hey, I'm sorry. I was being angry, whatever. Now we have, you know, released some of the tension. We can talk about this normally. They don't fight and they don't have sex. So what is left? It's boring. This movie was boring. It's an hour and 46 minutes. I was looking at my watch like every five minutes. It was so dull, guys. I was bored out of my mind. So, ugh. well, let me tell like a few things. The guy playing Harden, 
he is super hot and like when he would smile or he would do his like jerky little things like he he was dreamy so like I was totally into it also those of you who know so this is like Ray Fine's nephew and he played young Voldemort in um Half-Blood Prince he's the little one who is in the orphanage and so this Harden he has a, a snake tattoo on look on his bicep here so just a cute little side note if you also like harry potter every time he'd like have a shirt off and like put his arms up i'd be like "Ooh, slytherin baby slytherin so anyway i'm picking out tiny things guys because he honestly was the only good part and i feel like he was acting on a whole nother level than the other people so the girl who played tessa number one she looked way too young like, oh my gosh. I mean, she's probably the right age for this, but just overdid the innocence. Like, way too much for me. Like, it was honestly creepy. Like, the first moment when he, like, they have the beach scene. And that's the thing. They don't do anything. Like, he kisses her and she gets a little excited. And he's like, has no one ever touched you before? And she's like, oh, no. And it's just like, that's it. Like, oh my God, guys. Like, that's the thing they and oh my gosh they just they didn't pg-13 this they made it pg like it is so low down there that like what's the point of this being after like it's barely there like besides their names being the same and like they change what the bet is about like i won't i won't ruin that for you but like they change what the bet is about so that it isn't as pervy um and like <sighs> I don't know. They just make him way too nice is the thing, right? So we all kind of suspected that they weren't going to make him as jerky as in the book because then it's just like, Tessa, what are you doing? So they do. He's ex like, I, if this guy had been like this, I would feel cool with one of my friends dating someone like this. If they were just a little rough around the edges and have tattoos, like you wouldn't be like, oh, stay away from that guy. He's trouble. Like he's not that bad. He's not that mean. Um, and then, so, like, they, they just don't, they have some chemistry, but it feels like it's all manufactured. Like, it's really, yeah. Oh, it was just so, again, I just come back to the fact that it is so boring. And that is not what I felt when I read the book. The reason why I plowed through those four main books, plus the prequel, plus the, like, other little stuff she's put out is because their chemistry is on point for me for me not everyone feels that way but they're like back and forth and they're fighting they like hardly would fight and when they would fight the girl who plays tessa was just like pathetic by the way in her fight like oh it was so bad she got so whiny it was so annoying and oh like her mom the like her mom was very reasonable like that's the kind of mom i would be like in the beginning you know, when she's dropping off, she's like, ooh, I don't want you staying with this girl. Like, they're smoking in the dorm room. <laughs> like, if I was a mom, I wouldn't like that either. <laughs> and then when, at the end, when she sees her mom, like, it was just, oh, I can't. It was so boring. There was so much slow-mo. There was way too many scenes of slow-mo with dramatic music. And there was, like, they kissed, like, four times. Almost had sex a couple times. Had sex one time. That is not what after is about, guys. I'm just saying. And then it had, oh my gosh, the dumbest ending to this one. So bad. And obviously, it's different because they will probably not get a sequel. So there has to be a little bit more closure than we faced in the book. Because in that, like, those were all one long story. And she only cut it up afterwards. But, oh my god, the way they ended this, I was like, what the hell? Like, I can't, oh, I can't even, I'm really trying not to swear because I don't want to, but, oh, uh, so those are my takeaways is I knew this movie wasn't going to be great, guys. I understand, but like, oh, uh, there wasn't even like sexy time to make it bearable, which is what the books do for me. Like when they're getting really annoying, there's sexy time and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm fine with it. It was so boring. Like, I know people who are going to see it, you're going to see it anyway. But if I could save you the, like, go see this on a $5 day, guys. Go to it on a cheap day because I swear you're going to be bored. Like, I almost fell asleep. I don't fall asleep in sexy movies. That doesn't happen. And I was like, oh, 
Oh, <laughs> so cheesy and just bad. So anyway, there was a quick rant review about after the movie. I'm literally going to go home right now and like read some of the book because I need to be reminded of the chemistry that I love. So that's me. Um, <laughs> I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Or yeah, this one's going to go up extra soon, probably tomorrow, just because people are going to be going to see the movie. But uh, bye, friends. <laughs>